In this video, we are discussing a replicated joint pattern overview. In this particular joint pattern, a long or huge data set will be joined with multiple smaller data sets. And here we will be having only map part, no reducer. This operation will be done in two different phases. The first phase is known as setup phase. So in the setup phase, the mapper will read these record sets from different distributed cache and the, those data sets will be written onto the SDFS and there one lookup table will be created. And later these records will be read from this SDFS and the mapper will go for the joining. So there is a basic principle in this replicated joint pattern. So let us go for some more discussion on this topic. So what is replicated joint pattern? This is one special joint pattern and in this pattern will be used to join one large and many small data sets. So one large data set and multiple different small data sets. So this pattern has no reduce phase at all. So joining will be done only at the map phase. So except for the large or largest data set, all other data sets are read into the memory during the setup phase of the map tasks. So all the smaller data sets will be read into the memory, but the larger one is not getting read into the memory at the setup phase. The mapper takes the input from the distributed cache and stores the data on the SDFS as a lookup table. So this is done in the setup phase and after the setup phase, the mapper takes each record and goes for the, the joining operation as required. So let us discuss this one with one proper diagram. So here we are having a large data set that is the data set A and smaller data set that is the data set B. As this data set is large enough, so it has got split it into multiple input splits. So this is our replicated join mappers are there. So that is no reducer. So now it will be taking inputs from this input splits and this smaller data set that is the data set B and going for the join operation accordingly and it will produce the respective output parts. So here we are not having any reducer, the joining is taking place only at the mapper. So in the next video, we will be discussing more on this particular topic. Please watch that one because that video is in the continuation of this one. Thanks for watching this.